some of you might be wondering why I'm sitting in a dark sanctuary, dark gathering place, talking to you right after Easter, after we had a huge celebration and we brought in lots of new folks who got to hear what Jesus had done for them. We celebrated with families who brought their kids to have some fun and some crafts. We ate pancakes and broke bread together. Uh, we had communion and we had a huge celebration and it was awesome. And, and that's what Easter is all about here at church. Uh, but what do we do now? What happens when all that's done and the sanctuary is a bit dark? And yeah, I am sitting in a dark sanctuary. And a lot of times that's what life feels like. It feels like once you're done with going to church on Christmas or Easter, it feels like, what now, right? We did the big thing, but what now? You know, after Jesus' death and resurrection, the disciples were left without Jesus, right? Jesus left. Yes, he said he left with us, his friend, the Holy Spirit, but what now? And if you take a look at what the example of what the disciples did, they got together and they started doing a couple things. Um, one, they started to be a little skeptical. Some of them didn't really believe what happened. They were a little suspect of Jesus coming back and, and, and was it really him? Some of them even saw them with their own eyes but were still skeptical of what happened. Man, that tells me that a little bit of doubt is okay. And then they, they sat down but yet they still broke bread together. They still hung out. And they still ate and hung out and talked about what Jesus taught, which is exactly what he told them to do. Continue to break bread, continue to fellowship and talk about what he's done and what they had already done together as a group, as disciples following Jesus. And then they did what Jesus told them to do. They started to share the stories with others and to hear their accounts of what happened and, and hear the stories of all the different people that experienced and encountered who Jesus was while he was on this earth and they started to see that as they began to heal the sick just like Jesus did as they began to take care of the poor and to talk to people who had been kicked out of their their societies their little villages they started to recognize that they started to create a group a fellowship and it was through just conversation that that happened and I think we try to take what big things that happened at Easter and we try to think that we need to keep doing big, big things. And we lose the simple. If we remember, Jesus spent his entire time here. Yeah, he did some miracles and some really cool things, but he did 37 different miracles. But he spent a lot more than 37 days here. What did he do with the rest of that time? He talked to people. He was relational. He got to know the people he was not just working with, but the disciples, but getting to know in the houses that he hung out in. Jesus was all about relationships and getting to know folks. So for me, after Easter, it's all about relationships. It's about taking that love that Christ gave us and sharing that with the friends and the family that I have. And I, I wanna talk to my friends. I know for me, and I know about you, but I know for me, I came to know Jesus, not because of something that happened in church or something that happened at a youth camp, which, I mean, yes, I gave, I committed my life to Christ at a youth camp, but it wasn't because of what happened there, but it was what all the stuff that happened before that. I was invited to church by another team, by another friend um, who just invited me to come play football at the youth group after school. And I wanted to do that. And so I did, but it took me a couple years to really figure it out and come to know who Christ was in my life. And I, I'm sure some of you have a similar story. It, Maybe some of you were raised in the faith, but maybe some of you came to know Jesus through an invitation by a friend or an invitation by a family member. So my encouragement to you after Easter is go talk to people about why you came to church on Easter, why it was important to you and your family to do that. If nothing else, share it with your family. Talk about it at the dinner table. Don't let that conversation end just at Easter. Continue to talk about it because it's important for us to continue to reflect on what Jesus has done on each and every single one of our lives. What an amazing testimony it would be for our parents to continue to share that with their, with their students and for their students to continue to share that with their friends. How awesome that would be. 
Hey, I want to just remind you uh, that we continue to have stuff even after Easter. We do have Sunday morning classes for our youth and our children at 10 o'clock, and we have youth group on Sunday evenings at 4 o'clock. So I hope to see you guys here at United Methodist Church at the Palm Beaches on a Sunday coming soon.